Hi, this is Ignoble Gnome with a quick uh, entry for a uh, something else. It's uh, based on Guy Shire's, uh, Guy uh, Anderson's uh, RGB Nightlight, and uh, here it is. I've, uh, it's a little different than his than Guy's. I've uh, got a uh, light sensor on there, and also a potentiometer that will adjust. Uh, how quickly it goes through its iterations for dimming and brightening the uh, LEDs. These are LEDs inside ping pong balls on little uh, eye stalks. And uh, this is uh, just a decoration from a, a clock that no longer works. So I think it looks nice. Power on off switch. And uh, inside, the other main, the, the real main difference between Geyer's uh, design and mine is that he used three uh, pickaxe uh, 08s and I use a single one. Look at that rat's nest in there. Uh, I use a single one and uh, because of that he used, uh, he had three RGB LEDs. Um, instead I have three single color LEDs. I use the single P PWM output of the uh, of the pickaxe to drive the brightness for all three and then I use the random function which was already in use in the code to uh, to determine which light lights up. Let me uh, turn off some lights in here and we'll demonstrate. Let's switch it on. Now you notice I switched it on, nothing happened. I'm going to turn off the light. And we should see in a moment something coming on, unless it's not dark enough in here, which is quite possible. Need something to cover the cover the what the uh, oh there it goes <laughs> okay so you can see uh, boy it doesn't look nearly as good on camera I bet but that's an actually pink LED a red LED the pink one just came back on and there's a blue one in the back uh, you had to couldn't the pickaxe outputs only drive uh, 25 milliamps so without supplementing that which I didn't want to bother. Uh, you had to stick with uh, fairly low brightness LEDs, but I got the brightest ones I could that would work. And uh, here with the potentiometer set where it is, there's a fairly long delay in the loop as it's um, uh, moving between, uh, as it's lowering or raising the brightness of the P using the PWM uh, signal. It, uh, so you'll see uh, it's slowly, it's very, this gym is very, very slow. There you go, the blue one just dimmed out. Now when it comes back, it starts from where it left off and goes back up. Um, I also put some logic in the code so that uh, if it came up with a random number, it ra uses a random number to assign whether three LEDs are on, but um, you could wind up with iterations where none of the LEDs were on, and so I had some logic in the code to uh, quickly assign a new random number if that happened. Um, let's see, let's adjust the potentiometer. I'll go all the way this direction and you'll see now it tends to do more of this uh, much more active stuff. So it'll it'll settle here for a while but then it does more of a light show thing. Okay. And you can do anywhere in between. So this you'll, you'll get to see some of the fading. Um, at this level. So I learned a lot uh, on this. I uh, never really used PWM before, so that was good for me to learn. Um, let me switch back on the lights. Um, I uh, relearned uh, wiring on the pickaxe proto board because uh, I made a mistake, <laughs> which I blogged about on my uh, ignoble idiocy blog. Um, the, um, so there's two wires running to each LED, but I ran a thick uh, extra piece of like, I think that's like gauge 12 or 14, probably 12, um, stranded wire that doesn't do anything except make these stiff so you can kind of position them. And then um, it's all inside shrink tubing. And then uh, inside I made a loop of that heavy wire here and I hot glued it to the top so it's well supported. Um, it's wood screws holding the uh, top plate on here so I put a dab of hot glue 
on those. I don't know how well you can see that. But a dab of hot glue there to, so that there wasn't sharp, sharp stuff poking out. Um, what else did I learn? Oh, I did something kind of fun, which is uh, I made a connector. Um, let me see if this is worth showing you. Urgh, pulling it off. There we go. Um, these are little individual jumpers. And what I did is I uh, ganged them up and uh, first uh, used uh, shrink tubing to gang up pairs and then did uh, the three pair and ganged them up. So now I have a nice connector uh, to, to, for the header over here that's uh, for the output for the LEDs. So that was kind of a fun, uh, kind of fun thing because I didn't want to have to uh, permanently attach them and I with, uh, by soldering and I didn't want to have to if I removed them have to remember how they go. So now there's only two ways, it's not a keyed connector but there's only two ways I could put them on and one definitely won't work so I just have to remember which side the ground goes on and I can figure that out pretty easily. Uh, which I can't do pretty easily is um, get this back on by hand. There we go, with one hand. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's it. That's our, uh, our night light. Um, my daughter will have it in her room. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool. And I think uh, gear for the, the original design, which I, of course, totally ripped off. So that's my cat's tail, by the way. That's Captain, my very aged cat. There we go. Anyway, 